helping the homeless doesn't mean that we get rid of the programs or the shelters. We need the programs and we need shelters. You never know. Something can always happen. But when the shelters are at max capacity and we have four of them in each city and there's still people on the streets sweating and homeless and cold or whatever it may be, then we're not fixing the problem. We're just providing a temporary solution. And Jessica, the girl at Common and says, I don't know what I'm talking about. I was homeless myself. I know. I've seen how it works. And I've seen how people needed help. They needed more than what it what they're be giving. They're just giving a temporary solution, but they're right back on the streets again. Why? Those if we look at those children that are in juvenile halls or in foster care, if we work on that, we can limit the 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 homeless problem, the drug problems. Just go. It's not about getting rid of them. It's actually about helping them. Those tiny homes, they're perfect for a temporary solution, but they're going to be all over the place. And they're going to be, that's probably going to be your next, your child's next home for $60,000, start, your starting home. That's what I see for those, those little homes. Just like mobile homes are at $120,000, you know? So Jessica, you don't know what you're talking about, but I definitely do because I was in those shoes. Have a great day.